someone left me a comment accusing me of well the the person said why is it that all all fat girls are goth and they all wear Lisa Loeb glasses okay number one I am not goth do you hear me I'm gonna say this one more time I am not goth you see this skin I'm a white girl it's just the genetics this is not white makeup I'm Scott Irish and English and some black Dutch but I, I come by my paleness naturally same thing for the dark hair this is the way it grows out of my scalp alright this down here this is dyed midnight black because I had I dyed it back in September you see how close it is to my natural color my hair is very dark it's just nature uh, I have one tattoo it's from my granny god rest her soul it's from her dishes from the 1940s it's a like a vintage orchid design I have a nose ring the reason I have my nose ring is because when I was in elementary school I had a very good friend named Minnie and she was Asian Indian and her mom used to come to school for her little I forget what they called it back then they had a thing where, where mothers would have to come in homeroom moms or something like that I can't remember but she come in to bring cookies or whatnot I got her hair and my lipstick and she would be wearing the traditional garb the saris and she had the little the bindi I think is what they call it that goes here either Mindy or bindi I can't remember and she had a nose ring and I used to just think she was the most exotic beautiful amazing looking woman I'd ever seen and I wanted to dress like that and look like that and that carried through from probably third grade third or fourth grade on into my adult years and when I was in my 30s and finally got to a point where I'm trying to see if I can get some shine on it you've all seen it though when I finally got to a point where I felt like I could really do what I pleased and not give in to the pressure of my very conservative family and not feel bad about myself for it I went on ahead and got my nose pierced. I probably had it pierced for about eight years now. I didn't get it for any reasons of, of punkness or gothness or anything. I got it because I think that that they're lovely. It's it's a very old tradition to pierce the nostril for ladies. I think it's beautiful. That's why I got it. I have mm, my tongue done. I have three in my ears that are left over from the 80s. As I think I mentioned it some other time. I did most of those myself. I had my navel pierced for a while. It was migrating. I took it out. How am I goth? Oh, I hate that. I hate being asked if I'm goth or being accused of it. Not that there's anything wrong with being goth, but people that say that have no earthly idea about subcultures, what the point of the subcultures are, what the look is. They're just so ignorant. It just irritates the hell out of me. And even if I was goth, so what? So the hell what? I can be goth. I love this shirt. It makes my boobies look really, really big. Um, can't believe I just did that. I've been watching Resonate too much. I'm getting all ballsy and body and crazy. I love that girl. She's so cute. <sighs> so anyway, I was pissed off about that. As far as the glasses, these are not Lisa Loeb glasses. They're kind of semi-retro. They're a modified cat eye, I guess. And I got them very, very inexpensively. There was a rack of very inexpensive frames. The rest of them sucked. These are cute, and they look good on me, and I got them by God. And I wear them not to be cute, but because I fucking can't see. My eyesight, as I've mentioned, is too bad to even wear contact lenses anymore. I have to have my glasses, or I am blind. <sighs> Irritating, stupid people. I hate but I wanted to let you all know that on behalf of all of us, I wrote a little letter to the developers at YouTube and I reading it now I'm so embarrassed because there are some pretty bad typos but I wrote it as soon as I got up and I was trying to go around on YouTube and leave comments and so I wrote and said all of us serious vloggers hate that we're limited on how many comments we can post within a set amount of time it badly clogs the flow of catching up on subscriptions and leaves and leaving nice comments for our YouTube friends 
as well as causing problems for those of us that have received comments and would like to reply to them. Please change this policy. Perhaps limit number of comments for the same user or something. This is annoying. And very promptly, I got a letter back from Steve Chin. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate it. And he wrote back and said, Ah, this is a good, legitimate case for loosening this restriction. The reason we put it in originally was to stave off all the content spam that we were getting. Let me see what we can do. S. Yay! Maybe he'll change that. Um, and I can understand it, but you know what? People are spamming anyway. I mean, you go to, God bless his soul, you go to Geriatric 1927's blog, and half of the comments that you'll see are, I made money on YouTube. You can too. You know, it's not stopping that. They're also, I need to write to them and also tell them there needs to be some kind of a rep way to report people. We need like a three strikes and you're out sort of a thing set up, put into into use. Oh, the YouTube. So addicted. 